Back. Another video. Papa Bear. Ready to smoke. Yo, I'm ready to smack the dog shit out of nigga. <laughs> yo, this is my new. Like, yo. Actually, this is my new. Yo, I've been listening to these dudes for the past. 13 years. 14 years. Um, self-titled and apathy and the demigods and Jedi mind tricks and all that whole crew army the pharaohs when they all get together yo, them, yo these motherfuckers is crazy this is off uh, an album called 1990 now with um, Buck Wild Buck Wild produced the album and yo this shit came off man but anyway, let me turn this shit down a little bit. This is my shit right here. Oh. Ready to smack the dog shit out of Nick. <laughs> This is Tretch. Oh, hey, let me turn this shit down. Give y'all some, some content. You know? I'm going to give you some content today. Um, It's about... Let's see. I'm going to try and think of a bunch of um, terms that I used... That we use when we get locked up. Like... <laughs> Uh, if you guys can remember any of the terms you use when you got locked up, like, um, it's usually when I'm telling a story about what happened to me that this shit comes up and I start talking like that and I can, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's slang. That's slang for this. That's slang for that. Um, uh, so let's, let's start with like, say weapons. You got, you got bangers, you got, uh. Guns, you call them guns. A razor is called a gun in, in jail. It's crazy. Yo, you got your gun? Yo, you, is it in a holster? And when they mean, when they say is it in a holster, that means is it wrapped up with something, usually like something soft so it can't get cut through real easy and then put tape around it and then put like more plastic around it so that it's kind of like a holster for the blade and you just take it out and you can pull it out. And, um, and then you put it back and then you can imagine where the holster goes. It goes, oh, here's another term of endearment, <laughs> another slang word. You can keister it. <laughs> you know what that means, right? That means you could, you could, you could, uh, <laughs> you could, you could keister it. You could, um, you could, uh, you could boof it. You could, um, uh, basically it's sticking something in your, anus to hide it you know whatever it is and believe you me i've done it um there's other people who've done it um i mean there was a point in time when i was in rikers island that shit was so hairy that like i had to walk around with a razor stuck up my ass um uh, it's pretty sad to say that but like that's what I was doing. I was running around. I had, I had uh, not a gem star. I had a, a a rug cutter. That's another term for a, a, a type of razor. So you got gem stars, which are like the, the little rectangle razors. They come with a little piece of paper around them. You take that off, and then you got rug cutters. They got they're the, they're like the same type of razors. They come in a sheetrock knife. You know, like it's all metal and, you go ch -ch -ch and it comes out and it's got points on both sides. It was like this. Well, I had a rug cutter that, <laughs> yo, that shit is not comfortable, man. It's not comfortable. <laughs> it's really not comfortable having one of those things stuck up your ass, man. I swear, man. But it was something that I had to do in order to be ready 
and prepared in case something jumped off. I was, you know, it, you know, it, it's sad, man. It's sad. Like there's certain things that you had to have to 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 boof things. You had to have like Vaseline. You had to have little little bottles of bleach to clean your fingers off because, you know, you're definitely gonna get come in contact with shit because you're sticking something in your ass. Um, uh, basically, you know, then you got people that they're like, uh, there, there's people that are called holsters in jail. You know, yo, that's my holster right there. Meaning that man walks around with me all the time and has what I need up his ass. If I need it in a pinch, like say he needs to shit out a razor real quick and, and hand it to me so I could do whatever I got to do. Or I got a bunch of drugs or whatever. And I don't want the cops to find them. They're up that man's ass. He's, he's my holster. <laughs> you know, some people do it willingly. Like, you know, they're with it to do that. You know, just they get, they get down with whatever's, you know, whatever part of whatever. Some people are made to do it. You know, they're forced to do it, which that, that's kind of fucked up to force another man to carry some shit up his ass. Um, because you're not, you know, you can't do it yourself. You're not big enough to do it yourself. I mean, me personally, I could never do that. I could not ask another man to stick something up his ass for me. Besides, I wouldn't want to touch the shit after it's been up your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah. So, there you go. You got keistering, boofing, uh, you know, put that up. Yo, yo, put that up. And if it's a certain, you know, if it's a razor, if it's drugs or something like that, that means to put that up means to stick it up your ass. Uh Let's see. How many different names does punitive segregation have? <sighs> I, I don't know. They call it all, all kinds of things. The block, They call it the box. They call it the bing. When I was locked up, it was called the bing or the box. The, the yeah. different boxes, different punitive segregation units have different names, you know. I mean... I remember when I got cut, I was in punitive segregation. I was in one block in HDM. And um, I got cut by blood. I explained that story in one of my other videos. You know, if you want to check that out, just check some of my past videos. And I tell the story about how that happened. For the scar right here. And then got like 20 something stitches here and then another 10 stitches here. Um, uh, the box. The whole, the, uh, yo, I don't even know what other names they, they, they've come up with since I've been, you know, since I haven't been in jail in a while. But I'm pretty sure they have. They've come up with other other uh, names for it. But, yo, <laughs> when someone says the box, the bing, the whole, uh, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about punitive segregation. It's when they stick you in a cell by yourself. Um, in Rikers Island, upstate, the boxes are a little different, and they don't sit. They they was how they house two people to a cell, um, upstate mainly, and they only house you by yourself if you're like a, an extremely violent inmate, and they know if they put you in a cell with somebody else, you wind up hurting them or killing them, so, you know, um, you know. Uh, that's 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 some more lingo. Um, I mean, if you if you've ever heard a term that you don't you didn't understand what someone was talking about, they were talking about jail, and they said some type of word. If you can think of it, put it in the comments, and I can tell you what it means. You know. Uh, let me see. Weapons. All right. So uh, what other weapons? So those are razors. Then. You got pokers, you got shivs, shanks, um, stickers, um, metal, iron, steel, 
You got that steel. You got that iron. You got that metal. Um, let me see. You know. You got that. Yo. You got that air out. You got that 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 ice pick. You got that. You know, like there's so many different names for things to like stab and cut people with. Um, then you got like locking a sock. <laughs> that means when you stick a you take. Two pairs, you take a pair of socks, put one inside the other, and they used to give out, uh, well, they do upstate still, but they used to give out locks in Rikers Island, and you would put the lock in the socks, tie a knot in it, and then you could spin it around and hit somebody with it. Um, same thing upstate, um, but they still give you the, 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 the locks upstate. Um, Oh, another name for a razor. Yo, a New Yorker. <laughs> Yo, you got a New Yorker? <laughs> Yo, I don't know why people call... They call a gem star uh, a razor a New Yorker. Like, because he came from New York. Like, he came from outside. You don't see them inside. It's not like um, the razors that they give you to shave. Pop those open. and Like, I've seen people pop those open and melt them to the end of a toothbrush. And uh, cut people at that. Those are... Ooh, man. When you see somebody with two thin scars going down their face, like real close together, that's what that was. It was a toothbrush with, with two uh, shaving razors. They popped out of the plastics and they melted it to a toothbrush. You know? um, I've seen some crazy shit upstate where like shit jumped off the yard. Motherfuckers started going down into the floor and pulling shit up out of the dirt. Like, yo... It erupted and people was pulling out shit and then homeboy, yo. When somebody gets hurt really bad and drops to the floor, then that's when the shots come out. You know, the, the shots ring out um, from the the guards and shit, you know. But, um, I mean, I've seen all different types of uh, things made into weapons, fashioned into weapons from pieces of bed pieces of you know like the the metal frame pieces springs that hold the fucking mattresses up um pieces of whatever anything that's metal they could rip off of the structure that you live in um plastic i used to do because they used to run you through a magnometer with everything and i used to get i used to rip the plastic off the tables it was about this thick off the edges of the tables and I would rip that off and then sharpen it because one thing about the plastics is you can sharpen it to a nice point real easy doesn't take a lot of time and then if you stick it in somebody you can just snap it off and just walk away you know um which is kind of I mean some of the things you think of while you're locked up just to defend yourself or you know, what could be something that could be a deterrent against other people. It's kind of wild, but, you know, um, you know, but uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, <laughs> there's so many different terms that you use just in jail, you know. Um, give me some in the comments. I'd love to see some of the, what are the terms that you remember if you've ever been locked up or, what are some of the terms you've heard that, you know, one of your friends came home from jail talking about? They were using that term while they were talking about when they were locked up. Um, short little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if, uh, oh, click the, to click the buttons, man. Subscribe. Smash the like button. I'd appreciate it, you know, if you, you know, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any content that you think that I might be able to provide for you, put it in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll make it, you know, I'll talk about whatever you guys are interested in when it comes to being locked up in prison or jail or what have you, you know, all right, let me turn this music back up. Bye. Hey.